Thank you, Frank. Well, portions of the north end of the Strand saw lots of rain and wind today as the storm system made its way up the east coast. That includes Cherry Grove, where we find News 13's Gabby Jonas. She joins us now live from the Cherry Grove Pier. And Gabby, what kind of impact did the rain and the wind have on folks there? Yeah, Trish, we're seeing lots of different weather patterns on and off today. Earlier today, I saw a heavy thaw, heavy rain, and even some heavy wind as well. Now we're just seeing some gray skies and even some blue skies in the distance. Manager of the Cherry Grove Pier, Edgar Steven, says the business has remained slow throughout the morning and even into this afternoon, saying that he's only seen a couple fishermen out on the pier. Stephen says there was heavy downpours of rain all across the pier and there was even a hiking tide earlier today. He says surfers have been surfing along the pier since earlier this morning. He said luckily there isn't any damage to the pier and says today honestly felt like any other rainy day. Stephen says the biggest concern isn't the beach wash over itself, but the high king tide getting trapped by the pier. What happens is that it pushes the water up on the beach, okay, on the high tides, where therefore the water that's falling and the runoff can't escape and get back out into the ocean through the drainage systems, which causes everything to flow back in here. Coming up on News 13 at 6, we'll have more about how one man that's visiting the Grand Strand is taking advantage of the less crowded beaches. Live in Cherry Grove, Gabby Jonas, News 13.